really experienced many different fields of engineering uh, for myself. And before I actually attended this workshop, I think uh, in my head, engineering was a really uh, very small field. And that was because I was only really very exposed to the more robotic side of engineering. Uh, namely, I was uh, exposed to mechanical, software, as well as electrical engineering. And it didn't occur to me that engineering was actually so much wider and so much uh, more present in our lives today. And this is because like, uh, of programs such as uh, the lectures conducted by the chemical engineering team at NTU, the biomedical engineering team at NTU, that really allowed me to see that engineering was much wider than I actually originally thought it was. Uh, there were a lot of different logs and hands-on activities organized by the lecturers to teach us more about the different considerations that we have to make when designing a satellite. So for example, we had to decide the material, the cost, the colour, as well as the aerodynamics because of the shape of the satellite. So hence, me and my group were able to find different things that we could consider and therefore design the best prototype for us. I think one very different aspect about this program is that we were able to work together with people from very diverse backgrounds. So for example, in my group, I had actually um, students from five different schools and I feel that this really enables us to like build on each other's ideas better and I feel that another aspect of this program that is very different from past programs that I've been in would be that um, the program is actually like tailored to suit like the needs of the students. Before I got in here I had no like history or experience on robotics or AI and within two three days I was given all the information and all the guidance and I really feel like it was a good way to help me get myself into the bot and improve myself within the short span. So for this internship, I'm mainly working on a drag sail project, uh, which is essentially uh, similar to a parachute for satellites. It helps close down satellites and helps them be orbit. Uh, so this is mainly to help with uh, space debris uh, and to clear all of these uh, junk satellites that may exist in space. So a big part of my Dyson internship was to eventually be able to deliver a special edition product packaging for a hair dryer. And to achieve this, uh, Dyson actually helped us uh, by organizing a tour to their Malaysian office where they house their R&D sites for packaging. And through this tour, we were actually able to see like the packaging labs firsthand. And this enabled us to see the kind of technologies and tools that uh, the product packaging engineers use as well as allow the packaging engineers to walk us through their process to see what kind of considerations they have to make uh, in designing a packaging as well as uh, some of the other tests that we use to determine whether the packaging is something that is durable and uh, ready for production. And I think these uh, tours and experiences were really very integral to helping me have a positive experience during my internship as these are the lessons that they taught us that we will eventually bring back to the SUT fabrication lab in Singapore where we were we spent another few days uh, working on a prototype that we eventually showed to the Dyson engineers. My supervisors Han Xiang and Kenner, they were very helpful throughout this entire internship as we may, even though we may have a lot of questions, uh, they are always willing to answer them even though they may be technical in nature. I definitely am a lot more interested in engineering now. It is much more different than what I initially thought it was. It has so much more breadth, so much more depth, so much more creativity than what you think. Uh, a lot of the concepts that you see in engineering are very applicable and very visible in your day-to-day -day life.